All right, so this is it. We, I did it. I found the coolest home studio setup ever. Unbelievable. This is exactly what I want for my setup that I want to build for myself. So they already did it. I'm just going to have to steal it and bring it here so that I can have it because it's unbelievable. So Gray Box Nashville is the name of the studio. There's actually, they started off in their basement and they decided to expand and build this new building in the backyard, which is just phenomenal it is beautiful it is all the right things gray box nashville on their instagram if you go check it out they have a story that shows the start to finish process of the entire build from before they even poured the concrete so thank you to gray box nashville for having me out and letting me do the studio tour these are my favorite videos to do thank you for watching this and smashing the like button for the youtube algorithm make sure you hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed a lot of the people who watch this are not subscribed would mean a lot just go ahead and tap that little subscribe button for me and if you want to support the channel you can go to andrewmastersmusic.com slash donate and there's a p.o box there's paypal whatever you want to do i really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching links for gray box nashville and their studio and everything they're doing down in the description go follow them on instagram go book some time and make some records over there because it's just stupid good stupid good. all right <laughs> let's go check it out <laughs> So, Cody, hey, how are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Dude, I'm great. Come Holy on in. Holy cow, look at this thing. Welcome to Gray Box. So this is, this is brand new. Brand spanking new, man. We love it, man. It was uh, designed, all of this, this whole deal that we're going to be walking through, uh, designed and built by Josh Niles with Niles Acoustics and Design. Um, great dude. Just amazing, amazing guy. Um, and just does killer work. Wanna got to be one of my good friends, and uh, we love it, man. Uh, it's super cool. So the the control room, uh, obviously, the kind of the first piece that you see and notice when you come in is the the kind of wood Scandinavian accent walls and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, it's beautiful. Got this one up here, and then another one at the back. Um, use that for diffusion, obviously, but it's also just like a great look, great vibe, and uh, that was kind of a late in the game call for us we had a few different options of what we were going to do for this front wall and this back wall and um, eventually decided on that and so excited we did he and uh, his team just totally crushed that so um, we love the control room it's got a real comfortable feel to it not too big nice and intimate controlled and um, built to like the golden ratio so yeah Perfect dimension, so it's just about as flat as you can get it um, naturally. And then the treatment beyond that just makes it amazing and just so controlled, just super, super accurate to what you're, what you're tracking, what you're mixing, what you're listening to. This is in your guys' backyard, by the way. So this is yes, this is like a backyard home studio. Yeah, we just why not plop a big old studio box right in the backyard? Let's just do it. <laughs> it's amazing that I I have yet to see something to this degree of like professional acoustics and design mm. and space yeah. and comfort from what I've experienced and seen, one of a kind. Dude, no, I'm you. not saying that I'm extremely jealous and I'm going to rip as much of this <laughs> off as I can. Please. We love it. We're excited about it. We've been kind of game planning this bad boy for the past few years and then finally pulled the trigger on it and just totally, it was a gift to meet Josh and Josh Niles and his team and he was just the, the driving force and bringing this whole, whole vision to life. So it's just a gift, man. We're excited. So we are running just a brand new Mac Mini. Yes, just been totally 2020, 2020 totally slammed, um, completely upgraded as much RAM as you can get, as much processing as you can get. It's been awesome. So we got a Lynx Aurora 24. Um, it's been awesome so far. It's brand new for me, so I've still been getting, you know, getting used to the the Lynx world. But it's it's been a great great fit so far. Just super seamless and. 
Uh, yeah, so we got the Lynx. Uh, one of my favorite things that's been just a huge upgrade in my world is the, the Grace Design uh, monitor controller. Yeah, what uh, is we this? We just got the, the M905 right here, and it is just the sweetest, coolest volume knob that you could ever <laughs> own and purchase. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's great. It's got all the controls, mono button. You can listen to just the side channels, swap between all kinds of speakers. Um, it's it's super cool. It's got talk back right in it too, which is helpful for yeah, that is. artists. We don't have to have an extra mic sitting around or anything. We run uh, Pro Tools HD native, the whole deal with Pro Tools, Pro Tools Ultimate. So nice, um, yeah, that's super amazing. smooth, super fast. Uh, and then we just kind of got a, an assortment of of pre's and colors to choose from yeah. little 500 series over here a couple api 512 c's that i've owned for a few years and just so amazing for drums and pretty much anything you put it on uh rupert neves the porticos right here the 511s mm. for these bad boys just love those the silk texture knob down here is a gift from heaven yeah that's awesome that man that's the man that's the genius yep of himself all, yep all recording mr rupert yeah uh, and then right next to it obviously some more knees just got some some great uh 1073s that we love yeah those are my, um, my absolute favorite preamps uh, in the world nothing sounds bad through them, man it's just so good up here we got um it's kind of a little bit of a channel strip it's the day king uh their mic pre and eq Mm -hmm. uh, super cool, Daking Audio, comes in right here, runs through EQ if you want it, you can bypass it if you want to. And then from there, uh, we've got just great little UAD uh, 4710D, um, just four little, basically their, their Twinfinity uh, preamps, just four of them jammed in a little box, it's so great. Yeah. Really portable too, if you're, if you're taking like a mobile rig or something like that and needed um, just four great preamps or so. Just get one or two of these, throw them in a rack, and take it pretty much anywhere. That's awesome. Yeah. I've never even seen that before. That's great. Yeah, yeah, they're great. We love these. Um, and then from the there, 610. just the LA610, baby. Love this guy. 610 is just yes, beautiful. <sighs> Can't beat it, man. So yeah, that's our, that's our pre's right now, and that's kind of what we're working with. All of it is living in... Uh, this beautiful danger fox desk oh that, okay man this is what i was most stoked about with this whole space i mean you know if you're going to build a, a space like this you want kind of your centerpiece to be something cool and something that's gonna you know and not just a throwaway piece and danger fox the guys that just do an insane job for um just a great price too i mean it's honestly it, you don't have to break the bank to get something quality like this Dude, and this is super high quality oh yeah baby it's I, like you're sitting at the poker table right here it it's looks so good it looks and you, can you pop that off is that so is that you, removable? i think it it is and it's for like if you wanted to do like a keyboard desk kind of a thing also it helps just wow. with uh you can run cables down here and just kind of neaten up the top hide cabling and whatnot under here so yeah it's pretty sleek man That's we amazing. love it and then you guys have the, what is the Behringer headphone system? Yes, we got the uh, P16 system, just a little personal monitoring. So everything comes in from all of the different boxes around the space, hits the DB25 uh, outlet right there, Yep. comes right to the patch bay. And then basically we have it routed all out of Pro, Pro Tools. So whatever's coming out of Pro Tools, each channel is getting routed through the, the PowerPlay 16s and Musicians just got complete control over their own whatever lives. they want to hear. Yeah. Um, usually with vocalists, I'll give them their vocal and then feedback, um, reverb channels, delay channels and stuff. So they've got complete yeah. control over depth and wetness and all that kind of stuff. So can't, can't beat the P16 system in my opinion. It's super great. I noticed back here something that really stands out to a guy like me is the DB25s. Oh yeah. That is just beautiful, dude. The the Ethernet, the yes. the whole the panel, like the way you guys arranged this and yeah. planned this is so so consolidated. I mean, it's just clean, beautiful, clean. And one of my favorite parts about the like the, the desk and the Danger Fox and 
it's just so clean. Like yes. there's, we, we've run all those DB25s out and then I just zip tied them up a little bit, oh, like yeah. one single zip tie up to the bottom of the desk and it just clears out all that space under there so you're not dealing with just rats nests the cables back there, which is what so many studios end up being like. So yeah, keeping a clean space is like, is my, my jam. It's what I'm all about. To remind me again, what, what speakers are these? The barefoot, which Yeah, ones? so these are the Footprint 01s. Okay. Ugh, that's dude, amazing. and they're that's chilling amazing. on uh, some sound anchors, which are just amazing. Come down to this like really neat little fine point um, and sit, so basically it's completely minimizing contact yeah. with anything in the room. So these are just vibrating completely freely. So sound anchors and we've got some barefoot footprint 01s just they're the kind of speakers that like as soon as I got them we I just sat here in front of them for about an hour and then over a few weeks even and just listened to everything that, that I have ever listened to yeah. that I love hearing all of these new things just different te textures and layers that I never knew existed and um, so they're so great man and the meme switch that they have has been such a sweet little little deal. I used to have like a, a little uh, Aratone cube yep. um, for checking mixes and all that kind of stuff. And then the barefoot with the meme switch, it basically just emulates that. Um, so you switch wow. back and forth. Yeah, so they've got your flat, which is normal. Uh, and then they've got old school, which is meant to emulate NS10s. Uh, and then the cube emulates the Aratone little crummy little mid-range speaker. So it's so wow. great for mixing, checking references and Just stuff having like one that. set of speakers too. Exactly, exactly. In the same spot. That's Keep that's, it clean. Yeah, that's a big dilemma. I've it's, I've just assumed was impossible because <laughs> yeah. you like you can't have the perfect speaker position and then have more than one yes, pair of speakers. That's exactly it, man. So who did the design of this? Because this is absolutely a, like interior because this is absolutely yes, stunning. That would be my lovely wife, Rebecca. Wow. Um, she is just a wizard kind of with all things like visual. Yeah. Uh, she's a painter and uh, just is great with like gardening and interior design and just pays really good attention to all that kind of stuff. So she, she, and honestly, a little bit of my mom too, um, helped with some of the furniture and the aesthetics and stuff like that. And um, just going for that modern kind of clean, but welcoming and inviting kind of a look. And yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting because it's, it's so clean that it feels minimalist yeah. in here, but it's so over the top and like <laughs> capable yes. of doing whatever you could dream yes. of doing yes but clean and organized clean. and efficient oh yeah dude not a lot of clutter i love Feel like you're in all of this in Mad Men while you're in here right absolutely <laughs> uh and then what's what's in this little yeah so this is here. our uh vocal iso over here i'm gonna shut this door because let's show how dead it gets in here um unless there's a Car horn <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this is our vocal ISO slash coffee room, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, this is just great little vocal space off to the side. Um, super irregular wow. uh, windows and walls so that just really even, not getting a lot of reflections. And yeah, the, the way that they designed all of the angles and the ceiling and the, the paneling is all just crazy actually yeah. it's it's really crazy yeah dude well, it's funny because the uh like the cloud up here at the top is like this freaky trapezoid looking thing yeah. and my friend chris who's on josh's team who is cutting and measuring this out like spent almost the entire day like measuring wall to wall oh. and like framing this thing out building it so when they just lifted it up it was like perfect made yeah. for this little spot so it's great man we love the acoustic treatment just kind of finished off the the cleanness of the design uh it's all guilford of maine fabric uh, fabric yeah they did a great job it's a uh, silver silver papier is the okay. type yeah just, we want to get into specifics no yeah absolutely i will we, be uh i will be stealing that yeah gray is my favorite um studio neutral yes, color yes absolutely man you and then love it coffee zone coffee zone you gotta have it most I mean, important 
It's the fuel, man, makes the creativity go. So you got a, a pour over? Oh yeah, we, we rock the Kalita. Usually I've been thinking about getting just like an easy drip for people, but yeah. this is uh, currently for the pros. Yes, but yes, yeah, yes. This is a Kalita and then the, the fellow kettle is just, can't beat it. That's like, that's what I gotta get is oh, a kettle yeah. in the room. This is awesome. And uh, yeah. what, bathroom? Bathroom, everyone's favorite oh. part. This is such a crucial, the door. Yeah. crucial part of a studio because, uh, or yep. home studio specifically For because, sure. it, you know, having people go through the house to go to the bathroom, yes. clients, mm -hmm. Don't not want ideal, that. not Do ideal. Do not want that. Yeah, big house. I've been in a lot of studios, worked with buddies that, yeah, it it hits. You're like, okay, I got it. I got it. Take a leak. Yeah. And you're like, okay, well, you're gonna go out. You're gonna take a left. You're gonna go through the basement. You're gonna go up the door. Yeah. You're gonna see yeah. a guy named Carl. He's gonna give you a key. That whole deal. So having something. And then the other thing with the design that was helpful is originally we were considering opening it out into the control room, but then Josh in the end was like, might not be a good idea. No. Have the smell. door open and yeah. right into the control room. So this is nice because it provides some separation. And then, um, yeah, wife decorated all of that stuff and she actually did the painting back there she is wow that's so and yeah, what that she does is beautiful yeah man so try to make it look like a west Com elm ca catalog a little bit you comfortable know? too yes man. And most guys go straight to the mic freeze and like yep. the 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 gear yep and i'm like you want to create an environment yeah where people totally. want to come back and yeah. want to stay for a long time yeah that's because. exactly because I mean with the gear you can always add to it you yes. can always expand you can grow on that but if you just throw all the, all of your stuff all your capital on that stuff skimp on the space it's like well you, it's gonna be hard to hard to fix that upgrade that in the end so yeah that's kind of how we wanted to approach it man we wanted to get a beautiful fun comfortable exciting space well, you, you guys grow into it. beyond achieve that. This is amazing. And I'm Thank you. looking into this live room getting like giddy. So let's go. Yeah. The live yeah. Room. So yeah, coming through and then here we have a little amp like, uh, ISO room. It's like, I think yes. it's like double, double or triple insulated. So it is wow. like, yeah, it's like a nuke room is what we call it. You can throw an amp in there, just dime it, crank it all the way up and you just can't hear anything. It's, it's awesome, but that's amazing. Wow. This is the real deal. Holy cow, dude. How high are these ceilings? These are 16 feet. Really? Uh, yeah, 16 footers and it, it comes down a little bit. You probably can tell from the outside, but roof slants backwards a little bit. So the whole thing is a little bit graded backwards, but yeah, these are perfect. That's, that's a great thing. Yeah, that's what you want. Irregularity, man. Oh so my gosh. 16 foot ceilings and uh, ceiling clouds, same deal. Um, Guilford of Maine, silver paper, kind of all throughout the whole deal. Uh, Josh and the crew just precisioned the mess out of all of this. Just like laser line up everything. Uh, all the angles exactly right, everything cut to perfect dimension, and then they just threw it up there. Yeah, track lighting was a, a, a thing that we wanted to do. So much track lighting can be just so boring and run the mill. Yeah. And feel like, you know, oh, sterile living room, whatever. It's just sterile, exactly. So we found this cable lighting um, online that we just loved and weren't sure if we were going to be able to make it work in here. But we ended up doing it. Um, and so. It's it's one of my favorite things, just the cable track lighting kind of accenting between the the baffles up there. The fact that you guys pull off so much natural light in here, mm. being able to see outside makes my yeah. comfort level so much higher. Absolutely, because you, you don't feel like you're trapped, and it also makes the place feel massively bigger. Yeah, you can see outside and. You get that natural daylight, and yeah. I, I'm certain it, there's definitely positive things that yeah. comes from having natural oh, for daylight. Sure, man. That's that's what we really, really, really wanted to go for with this space, like natural light, open, airy. That like that we just believe that 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 can help breed creativity, mm -hmm. and uh, you know everybody, pretty much every studio in the world is dark, moody, muted, and that's cool. Like that's 
part, part of that's just from the like needing to control the sound and everything. Yeah. But we were like, hey, let I would rather let's just go crazy. Let's just get some some light in here. Let's just make it fun and gorgeous and a space that people love being in while they're tracking, shooting a video, yep. whatever it might be. Uh, so that's what we tried to achieve and I, I think the, the crew pulled it off for sure. So this room has to sound unbelievable. Like it's having a, a, a space with ceilings like this, with the treatment, with the diffusion, and just the, the volume. Yeah. And you have clearly this crazy space above there and up yeah. above this little uh, storage room yeah. over here. Because throwing, I mean, I, I'm not sure how how geeky you like to yeah. get, but throwing mics up in spots throwing like mics that. mics anywhere, man. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, man. And the crew, like Josh and them ran lines everywhere. So we, yes. could, we could throw a mic pretty much anywhere, bathroom. Upstairs, back closet, everything. Um, so totally, the room is is just so fun from an audio perspective. We measured it out. We've got two little room mics that are just kind of permanently mounted. Oh, I didn't even see those. Yeah, yeah. So they ran two uh, little XLR lines up there, and we just threw a pair of uh, Josephson C42 <laughs> up there, and pretty much equidistant from right here. So if you Put the kit right here in the center yeah. of the room. It's going to be perfectly in phase and uh, sounds so good. I've only gotten to track one kit so far. I have two, two kits in this room, and the room just immediately, like without compression, without EQ or anything, just sounds incredible. Just from those two guys up there. So um, yeah. What? So what kind of kits do we have in here? Yeah, man. So this is my this is my newest one. Super stoked about. Got this from Nelson Drum Shop yeah. over in East Nashville. Uh, this is a 1965 oh. like Ludwig super classic sparkle kit. Red is like just my my all time favorite color, and red and black together just does something special with my soul. And so when that, I saw that they had this guy, basically drove over there immediately and snatched it up. Uh, so it's it's awesome, man. Just love having a vintage kit available in the space for people to use. It just tracks so well, um, good tone, reliable, perfect dimensions. Good. Yeah, seriously, man. 22, 22 yep. 13, and then a 16 over there. Yeah, we cool. love it. So it's still still getting used to it because it's kind of a kind of a new addition to the team, but yep. love it. And then over here we've got uh, this is. Kind of more of a rock kit is what I would oh, yeah. use it for typically. Is it's a 24. It's a big old fat 24 inch kick drum. This is from Anchor Drums. Wow. Um, they make some beautiful just custom drums uh, that we've had. Actually, this was made for a buddy of mine uh, and then I actually ended up buying it off of him a few years back and just tracks rock stuff so well. Mm -hmm. The toms sound so good. And then this is my friend Nick's, just a Thomas Silverstar uh, that is kind of living in here for a little bit. Sounds great as well. We track just a ton of ton of stuff on that as well. So that's where that's where we're landing in drum world so far. You got some keywords of the big old eighty eight Nord. Oh yeah, baby. The, Holy the Nord cow. is just the dream. <laughs> it's so good, man. It just all the piano sounds are great. It's got synth capabilities that are amazing. If you get somebody who knows how to work this thing, yes, which I'm still I'm still learning because it is a it is a beast. It's a lot. Yes, but my friend Nathaniel just somehow is like becomes one with the keyboard and knows how to work this thing like nobody's business. And so uh, it, it's an amazing piece. Love that thing. And then a little micro cord chilling down there. It's for fun. Usually for just fun kind of find an experimental weird stuff kind of sounds. Yeah, like. man. Yeah. Those are super good. And then I'm, I thought this was storage room, but I'm noticing there's, this is a gold mine actually <laughs> back in here. Yeah, dude, it's a little sound lock that is also like a little exterior door. Um, and then it's our kind of our cable and stand and gear room. Um, pedals. Got some pedals. And that has some options for tracking guitar. And uh, yeah, kind of just a catch-all room for extra stuff. And then if you know we're tracking like a like a big crew in here, like a big band, and 
need some more isolation can throw somebody in there yeah the, i notice all these boxes are like so perfectly yeah. laid out for whatever you want to do absolutely man versatility josh was really cool with being like yeah let's just throw a box everywhere let's get it all going back to the uh gaff tape gaff tape absolute necessary piece of every studio <laughs> whose guitars are these man that is a mixture of so many people's <laughs> like some of those are mine some of those are my brothers this is my brother's girlfriends actually believe it or not just somehow equipment just ends up in your possession somehow you know that's just how it works that's awesome when you hang out with musicians a lot but got a martin yeah man they got some two taylor 814s that we love one of those we've had i got that from my mom uh, i've had that for Probably like 15 years at this point. Wow. Yeah, some good stuff. Uh, Les Paul, Epiphone, Fender, Telly. Yeah, man, some PRS. PRSs. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. They just, all of those, they just play so well. Where'd this piano come from? This was my brother in law's parents. It was just in their house, and they were going to get rid of it. They didn't need it anymore. And my sister asked if we wanted to take it. Um, and did it was living lived in our basement for a few years, uh, and then we started messing with tracking it, and it actually sounds really really cool. I mean, it's just a, like a standard like winter spinet, um, oh. dude. And you, yeah, you can lay down the the cool thing is you lay down the uh, this little mute right here because it's yeah. like a player piano, and so it's meant to be quiet for kids if they're like practicing yeah. in the middle of the day. So that's how it is, and if you want it quiet, it's got this like corda kind of a feel to it. I love that. Yeah, so we, man, we love this. It's just got a, a kind of a unique sound, but really, really perfect for a lot of different, uh, you know, sessions and vibes and, and everything. So we're, we're stoked about having this here, especially in the space, hearing how it sounds. In the yeah, room. man. I'm, I'm just thinking about the logistics of having a pianist sitting here and doing a live performance with a singer. Yes. Where they can literally look at each other yes. and play together. Absolutely. And have that connection even though they're separated. Yeah. And having that acoustic like separation yeah. to be able to really get some fun stuff but still get a live. Huge. Live yeah, feel. man. Oh, that's one of the things that we love is just the ability to see kind of everywhere in this space and yep. get that separation but still have that connection. It's really fun. Is this an, the what you guys were rocking before? So that's just like, man, we've been using that for live stuff for, for years. You know, like my brother's in a in a band that I produce all their stuff and, you know. What's the band them called? On. They're called Pacific. Pacific, okay. Yeah, they're called Pacific Band here in Nashville. Like an alt rock kind of a indie pop alt rock kind of an outfit I love super it. fun yeah we so we do all their stuff we've done all their stuff uh in basically our other space our the basement over here uh -huh. the past few years and then just cut our first track in this space that's getting sent off to mastering right now so oh that's so exciting chris in the space with with a new track so we're excited about that but yeah so this is also a good spot to just like do a rehearsal or two especially for them. That's one of the reasons we, we made this space is because I do production and constantly writing, constantly touring, constantly playing, and to have just a, a space pretty quickly available uh, to use for demoing, writing, rehearsing, all of that is... And for video shoots. Video shoots. I mean, just us talking. I'm like, this is, this is <laughs> the most beautiful video shoot I've ever done. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, we... That was one of the biggest things. Like we want, we wanted to make this like a quality studio, it, put everything that we need to in on that front. But at the same time, like we love doing video work. Uh, some of our favorite things that we've done in our other location have been like acoustic videos and and on site like full fledged music videos. And so we just love that world and being involved in it. So we wanted to really tailor this space to fit for that in mm -hmm. a lot of different ways. And I think, I think they knocked it out of the park. So if I were to book this room, 
Yeah. Every, everything that's in here comes with it. Yeah, is, is yeah, yeah, pretty much everything lives here and we're always getting new stuff in and out and anyone who books, this is it's all theirs to, to use. House kit, guitars, house piano. Kit. And then obviously people can bring anything they want in as well, bring in their own engineer, musicians, instruments, the whole deal. Man, the deluxe, the deluxe reverb. Oh yeah. Bad Cat, the dual rectifier. Oh yeah, get you some rock. Is this the, these holes up here, are yeah. these the HVAC returns? It is the HVAC, and that was one of the things that we really wanted to dial in on. In fact, my our contractor Josh has been, will swing by this spot and show other people that he's working on builds with this because we ended up landing on like the perfect system, the perfect arrangement for um, for the space where this is, it's basically commercial grade. No, yeah. Um, but whisper quiet, man. I mean, this thing can be cranking and you just can't hear it at all. And it, and yet it keeps the place super even, super cool. Yeah. Super cool in the summer, super, you know, warm if you need it in the winter. Um, and it's really efficient, honestly, because the whole building is so crazy insulated with all the sound stuff. So, HVAC was something we're super proud of and Josh and the team just knocked out of the park. Air conditioning, bathroom, comfort, coffee. Mm, coffee, and then, yes. And then obviously, you know, instruments and gear uh, and the sound of everything being perfectly true to this mm. is like the perfect studio. Dude, thank you so much, man. We're excited and blessed and don't deserve to get to work in something like this, but you know, we're going to excited to share it with people and have people in and make stuff together and this is this is kind of round two for you guys because you had you have another spot as yeah. well that you were working in before you built this totally so we took our old basement and redid it converted it uh into something called we call it the basement space mm -hmm. and it's like our secondary location at this point but it ended up being Kind of our studio home base for the last few years and then also was a really cool vibe for photo and video as well so we ended up getting into that world and these are kind of kind of brothers of each other in yeah. a lot of ways like kind of yin and yang this is space is light and airy and yeah. open and high ceilings and the basement is kind of the polar opposite it's like it's a basement, but it's cool and it's vibey and it's dark and it's kind of all enclosed. So we like having both of those two as kind of little twin opposite brothers of one another. Yeah, whatever you need. Oh yeah, man. Options. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. So do you guys have a website for, or like how do, how, yeah. this, if somebody lives here in Nashville or wants to come here and make a record here, what's the process? Yeah, so you can reach us. I mean, we're pretty much on all social media, so you can find us at Graybox Nashville, pretty much everywhere. And then our website is grayboxnashville.com. And uh, we've got booking forms, inquiry, uh, pretty much a ton of different ways to get a hold of us. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of more information if you're looking for more specifics about gear or what it looks like to, to book or record in here. It's a great spot to, to reach out and find that info. And the the Instagram, you guys have a story that shows each step of the build as well, right? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, I really wanted to dial in and make sure that we caught each stage. Yes. Because as we were looking at building this place in the first place, I would just go through studio pages yep. and be like, how did they do it? What did they do? What did, what did this process look like? So we really pretty closely documented it. And uh, yeah, just have like a, a tailor-made, ready-to-go story uh, about the studio build on our Instagram page. You can just cycle all the way through that, see the whole thing from slab all the way to how it is right now. Yeah, and that's Graybox Nashville on Instagram. Yes, at Graybox Nashville. Sweet. And then can't plug our designer and builder. Oh yes, anymore. please. Yes, like he is. He's the the dude behind all of this made this happen is just so killer. Um, if you're into or looking at building a studio, especially in the Nashville area, uh, Josh Niles is his name, Niles Acoustics and Design. That's how you can find him. And uh, just so great, he's great to consult with uh, and he'll get you a sweet, sweet studio for sure. 
Yes, Josh, please. I will <laughs> I will reach out to you. <laughs> well, this is absolutely amazing. I'm I'm really, really excited for you guys and gonna have to come here and do something. Because, absolutely. Um, please. It's, I, I, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I'm super excited. So cool, man. Well, thanks for taking some time to stop by and Dude, check it out. Thank you so much for having me and good job. <laughs> Just good job. I will reach out to you soon and get in here. Sounds great, man. Thanks awesome. for checking us out. Thank you. Later, man.